friends, and I hope you guys are all doing okay out there today. Now, buckle on up, my friends, because we're going to be going from dimmer to shimmer today. And that's because we're going to be making some DIY highlighters. Now, if you clicked on this video, maybe you ran into the same problem that I did, and that is I ran out of my freaking highlighter, and I'm looking for a good alternate. So let's dive right in, you guys, and see what kind of shimmer we can make. Alright you guys, so the first step is to add a little bit of shimmery eyeshadow to a small bowl. Hmm, which color should I do? Hmm. I think today I really want to try some fun different colors of highlighter, so I'm going to try this very hot pink and see how it turns out. So step number two, you guys, is to add two to three pumps of body lotion, or if you have sensitive skin like me, use three to four pumps of face lotion. Right, so I'm just going to one, two, three, and let's mix it together. Add a little more. So when you're done, you guys, just make sure that there's no lumps left and it's all integrated very well. So once it is the color and consistency that you're desiring, you are ready to try it on your face. So let's get on to the next one. So for the second one, you guys, we're gonna pop over to our familiar place, the stove with a makeshift double broiler. And please don't pull in, Annika. And make sure before we even begin to grab your oven mitts. So just turn on the heat and get the water boiling. Also, if you guys don't know this, put hot water in your pot before you're boiling water because it will come to a boiling point quicker. Now I know some of you are probably thinking that's common sense, but it actually took me a while to figure that out myself. And I know a lot of people who just put cold water in and wait a really, really long time. It significantly cuts down on the time it takes to boil water. But there's a little tip for you guys. It has actually helped me so much in cooking things and making things because it cuts the time basically in half for waiting for the water to boil. So while you're waiting for the water to boil, just make sure you have all your ingredients ready to go. So a tablespoon of grapeseed almond oil or olive oil, two teaspoons of beeswax, and a teaspoon of mica powder. For my mica powder, you guys, I chose this really fun dark green. So we're gonna see how it turns out. I really wanted to try some fun different highlighters. I know a lot of people just like the whites and the pinks, but something a little more offbeat, quirky, like me. What I'm gonna be putting in first is the beeswax just because it takes the longest. And we're gonna do two teaspoons. Once the beeswax kind of melts down a little bit, that's when I'm gonna be adding the rest of the ingredients. So as you guys can see, the beeswax has melted down a little bit, so I'm going to be adding that tablespoon of oil. Now I'm just going to mix that a little bit more, and once this is all melted, I'm just going to add the mica powder, or misa powder, or mica powder, however the f*** you pronounce it, because I have no idea and I've never heard of it until I did research for making highlighter. Mika powder is actually really cool. You can make nail polish out of it. You can add it to soaps. You can make cosmetics with it. It's really, really versatile and it's very potent and actually not super expensive at all. So I'm just gonna be pouring my hot stuff in there and then adding the Mika powder and mixing. Right, and a teaspoon of Mika powder. So in hindsight, you guys, make sure you add mica powder before you take it off the heat. For some reason, the beeswax solidified very quickly and a lot more quickly than my other videos. So I just popped it back on the heat and then mixed it through. So when it's done, it should be, should look something like that and just let it cool and then we can try it out. So when you're done. All right, you guys, so let's try out these weird ass colors, but also very fun ass colors, highlighters. So the one we're going to start with is the first one that is a very pretty magenta hot pink. 
and I'm gonna once again zoom you guys in. so you can see the full effects of whatever the f I'm putting on there today. All right, you guys, so for the first one, I'm just gonna be using my finger to kind of apply the product just because I am wearing a powder and this is more of a cream. And I just hate when cream things take off foundation. You can use them together, you just have to be more tactical about it. Okay, so we're gonna do the number one on my right side here. That's a look. I didn't say it was a good look, but it's a look. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger. It looks like blush. I feel like I'm a, like a toy soldier or something from what's that show called toy castle comment down below if you guys ever used to watch toy castle my favorite person was the ballerina I don't know for some reason I think I just always wanted to be in ballet but I never actually like did anything about it I actually don't hate like the look of the blush but it's not really super pigmented which so the reason it is not super shiny could just because could be just because of the type of eyeshadow I used. Yeah, this looks more just like a like a rouge. Like I wouldn't mind this as a highlighter blush if it actually had more shiny pigment. So if you want cream blush, you're welcome. We just made it. Super pink, but not super shiny at all. Like up close, I can see the flecks of kind of glitter in there, but as a whole, it just seems like it's mostly pink with a little shimmer in it. Yeah, not super highlighter, but as a cream blush, that's, that's pretty poppin'. Not great for what's intended use, but at least you can get another use out of it, I guess. Now let's go on to number two. Now I used Mika, Misa, Mika, whatever the frick, it's called powder in this one. So I'm a little bit more hopeful for this because Mika, Mika, Nisa powder is really, really pigmented. And that's what people use to make nail polishes, soaps, etc. like I said previous. All right, so let's try the second one. Let's get right into that green, mean, sparkling machine. Oh, so this one's very solid. Obviously, because we put beeswax, it's solid. I don't know why I'm surprised. Okay, so I'm just kind of melting it a little bit with my finger so I can get some on. All right, very green. Let's see if this is out of this world. Okay. Like, that was some blue makeup, might be. Oh, it's, it's not bad. The way it applies is kind of weird. It's kind of patchy because it has beeswax in it, but... Hey there, friends. This is Annika while editing. In the next few minutes, you are going to witness the irrational vocal stylings of past Annika, trying to convince myself that whatever that is, is a good look. I hope you enjoy. It does have a lot more shimmer and shine than the other one. It's kind of cool. It's like a little alien. Ballerina? <coughs> okay, I'm just gonna kind of add a little bit more, see if I can pump up that shimmer. I know, you guys can't see me applying it. Okay, it's actually kind of cute. Next time, honestly, I'm probably not gonna do wild colors because I thought I was gonna be more magical than this, but. I like the way it applies though. It doesn't like get rid of my foundation at all, but it's like, feels like it's stuck on there. Okay, so it's a little patchy, but honestly, it's not bad. It does have that highlightness to it. It's kind of fun. I really like that you could buy just a tiny thing of Mika powder and a little goes a really long way. But it actually, as a highlighter, is pretty good. <clears throat> See? I'm gonna try and put it on the bridge of my nose and just kind of like other places where I highlight because I like the iridescence of this. Yeah, that added like a cute little shine to my nose. Like it just has like the nicest little tinge. Oh my God, this would be perfect for like a costume thing. Probably look f***ing ridiculous right now. Cause I f look ridiculous right now. Oh my god, I actually kind of like this for like a mermaid look. Okay. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I'm obviously done with both. So what I really want to do right now... I've never done this before, my friends. ...is actually take some Mika powder... Mika powder. Mika powder. You get it. And I'm gonna mix it with some of my face lotions. So I'm basically gonna mix the first one and the second one together and see if we can make an amazing... Friday Okay, you guys, so I have my little container, my Mika powder, 
and some of my moisturizer and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing we did with the first one just with Mika powder instead of eyeshadow right we got our Mika powder in there and we're gonna mix it all right you guys so I'm done mixing the Mika powder with the cream now I'm just gonna kind of try it on my face and we'll see if it turns out better just have a little bit of the cream and Mika powder on my finger hmm, where the f am I gonna put this okay I'm gonna do it on my forehead Wow, this is turning out really bad. <laughs> this could also be because I have foundation on. Oh, f All right, so that turned out really bad. I thought the green was gonna be like cool, pop and iridescent, like making me look really cute and alien and fun, but bitch turned out to be fing Shrek. Let's get into my final thoughts, you guys. <laughs> Let's go over how I felt about this business. So let's get on to the first one. So the first one, I actually really like the pop of color. I like that it kept the color pigment in there and it ended up being kind of matte. Now, that being said, it is not a highlighter at all. And the pink I use is really pretty and shimmery. So basically I think the cream just absorbed into my skin and then the color pigment stayed on top, but it took away the shine. So horrible for highlighter, great for cute blush. Obviously, I'm not going to be using this again for a highlighter, but but if I run out of blush, it'd be really, really easy just to whip that up with some lotion, so not mad at it. Let's get, let's get on to the second one. Okay, just give me a minute. I wanted this to work so badly. I was so excited to have a fun, sparkly green highlighter. You know, try something different than pinks and, you know, shiny pearl, but maybe there's a reason that People only pick pink and shiny pearl. <sighs> the second one. So the second one actually has a fair bit of shine. It's actually kind of cute. Bitch, no. As like a mermaid highlighter. But the thing I really don't like about it is it was super patchy because of the beeswax. Some parts grabbed on, some parts didn't. It was just like my face was confused on what to do. Both of these were kind of flops. The first one's great for cream blush. The second one is good if you want to shine, but because the pigment was so dark, you can tell how patchy it is, which is a no-go. On top of that, third one that I tried absolutely did not work at all. So if you're trying to make a highlighter, adding a cream moisturizer to an eyeshadow or a powder is just going to absorb into your skin and leave the color pigment there and basically not be shiny at all. But at the end of the day, none of these were really good as a highlighter. I really didn't enjoy any of them and I wasn't like, oh damn, look at me sparkle. We did not go from dimmer to shimmer today. We went from dimmer to Shrek today. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys at least got a laugh or a chuckle or a confused what the f moment out of this video because I know I sure as hell didn't get a good highlighter out of it. So I hope you guys at least got something good. So don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. Please keep track of my videos and let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see from me next. I'm going to be starting a new series pretty soon, you guys, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time.